Before you write an essay, it's important to understand basic essay structure. Now, every essay has the same core structure regardless of the kind of essay you're writing. Now, an opinion essay, comparison contrast essay, or narrative essay will all have slight differences, but the basic structure will always be the same. It's, it will consist of three main parts. You have your introduction, body, and conclusion. The introduction and conclusion will each be one paragraph, and the body can be any number of paragraphs um, depending on the length of the essay you're writing. Now the introductory paragraph can be split into three parts. The first part is what we call the hook, and all that means is the first sentence of your essay should engage the reader, grab their attention, and introduce the subject in an interesting way. Students often think that the best way to do this is to ask a question at the beginning of an essay, but that's overused and um, I recommend that you do something else instead. I would highly recommend um, a strong statement or a surprising fact. After you've um, engaged the reader with a good opening sentence, you want to give some background information. Now that just means any information that's essential for the reader to have in order to understand your main idea or to understand the topic. So this could be context, like where and when. It could be a brief history of the topic. Um, or it could be an exc explanation of why uh, the topic is controversial to begin with or why it's important. Okay, now once you've given the background information, it's time to give your thesis, which is the single most important sentence of your entire essay. It is always the last sentence of the introductory paragraph, and it is the main idea of your entire essay. After you've um, presented your thesis, you can then move on and write your body. Now the body paragraph, or paragraphs, is meant to support the thesis with development, um, such as argument, details, examples, description, narration, depending on the kind of essay you're writing. Now a longer essay may include expert opinion, quotations, um, secondary sources, that kind of thing. But obviously if you're writing an essay for a test or you're writing a short 250 to 300 word essay in class, you probably won't need to include secondary sources. After you've written a strong body, it's time to write your concluding paragraph. In the conclusion, you should summarize your main points and restate the thesis. It's important to think of the reader as a person with a, uh, a very short memory. So at the end of your essay you want to remind them uh, what is your main idea. And then at the end you also want to end your uh, essay with as strong a statement as you started. So you want to make sure that the final comment or statement of your, in, of your concluding paragraph um, is emphatic or interesting in some way. And that's the basic structure of an essay. Um, if you want more practice with essay structure, follow the link at the end of this video.